Wait, what? Okay, before you click off the video, just give me a chance. I'm, I'm trying to break into nature documentaries right now. Uh, David Attenborough? Pfft, who's David Attenborough? You're, you're watching my documentary. It's, it's ten times better. It's about little bugs on a windowsill. It's about lies, deceit, what else? Love, maybe. I don't know what they were feeling at the time. But you're going to see it all in a minute because I am I think I might be up for an Academy Award after this little documentary. I'm going to hit play. Now, I just want to mention a couple things before I do. Please ignore my nasty, horrible, disgusting windowsill with the dog hair stuck in it. Uh, I didn't see those at the time because th this bug is incredibly small. It's like, take a penny, separate it into 16 parts. One sixteenth of a penny is the size of this little bug. And for all you British people out there, uh, take a tea bag, cut open the tea bag, uh, like one little speckle of tea leaf, uh, that, that's about it too. And I'm going to clean my windowsill, don't worry about that. So I'm going to hit play, just watch, it's incredible, you'll love it. Season is so cute, he's tumbling around on his back, he's got little wings, staying close to the wall there. It looks like he's trying to look up. There he goes, just walking on his way. It's a beautiful day outside. He's just enjoying it, looking out the window. And then, look, pause. He found a little friend. So I thought at the time. Um, I didn't know if this was his wife uh, coming to find him. She didn't know where he's been all week. Uh, but I see this another little bug, and I see this bug. And do you see how they're looking at each other right now? It's beautiful, isn't it? You can tell that there's really some sort of chemistry there. Um, we're going to quickly learn what type of chemistry is there. Uh, at the time, I thought it was romantic, but I'll, I'll hit play and you'll quickly see that I was wrong. Okay, pause. This is the exact moment I knew that bad things were going to happen, and I had my finger on the emergency service number for bug police. I was ready to call at any moment. Bug on the left. I'm going to call him Barry. Barry squares up to bug on the uh, right. I'm going to call him Dimitri. Dimitri is on the right. Barry is on the left. Barry squares up to Dimitri. Do you see Dimitri? He, he's looking to the left. He's trying to run away. He's trying to walk away. He's like, I don't want any trouble. I don't know what you're planning to do, but just leave me alone. I, I'm trying to get to work. I'm trying to go on my way. Uh, just please, if you have any trouble, leave it at the door. I want to go on my way. And he says no. Watch, I'm going to press play. <laughs> he jumped on his head. He like jujitsu rolled onto his head, put him in a rear naked choke, and choked Dimitri out. Dimitri is unconscious right now, and Barry's running away. Did you know that this stuff happens in the bug world? You have little bugs, like muggings? Little bug muggings? Buggings? But muggings? I don't know what it's called, but this happens, and you guys need to be aware of it because it, it, it's dangerous, and it can... I think I'm the first one to actually capture a bug mugging in progress. Um, that's why I said I think I'm eligible for an Academy Award. Uh, I think this is a new thing that's happening in the bug world that no one knows about, and I just uncovered it. So, exposed bug muggings. Know about it, know how to prevent it, and know what to do if you encounter one because they want your money. Uh, and here, here, Dimitri wakes up. He looks left, he looks right. He shakes it off. He goes, I don't know what just happened, but I'm going to get my wallet back from Barry. He's chasing him. They're in hot pursuit right now. Look at, did you see that? He just spun around with his little wings because he heard uh, Dimitri's footsteps pat, 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 right up to him. He turns around. He confronts him again. Look, Dimitri crawls up on him. Boom. He just smacked him in the head. He kind of stumbled him, kind of rocked him a little bit there. And now Dimitri's running away. He thinks they're even. So... At this point, I was like, okay, it's over, but pause. Dimitri's having a seizure. Now, I have a theory that this is because uh, the loss of blood flow to his brain after Barry choked him out. And he, as after he slapped Barry in the head and hauled it to the, to the right, he broke down and had a seizure. Now he's freaking out. He's trying to recover. He keeps, yeah, he's seizing out. This is sad to watch. I'm sorry. Um, okay, he flips back up right side. And at this point, Barry realizes that there's a little kink in his armor. He can expose it. He can beat him up again. So he turns around, and here comes Barry again. Tripping a little bit because, like I said, he got slapped in the face by Dimitri. Look at how fast he's going. He is charging him with the speed of 100 grown African elephants. Look at it. He's, it look, Dimitri's like... 
he stuck he got his little foot stuck in the windowsill curve barry just headbutted him in the back and he keeps going he goes into the sun he goes back into the shadows because he's very tactical barry's a tactical bug he's a criminal but he's very tactical at this point i reach my finger and i try to help dimitri because i realize that he's stuck and it's not fair but pause i forgot that dimitri still was regaining his senses after being choked out and that he wasn't in the proper state of mind to carry on. I should have just taken him and put him back in the grass outside or something. But I made the wrong choice. I'm sorry. I'm still living with my regret of what happened this day. Um, I'm just going to play it. And, and you're going to see what happened. Barry's booking it. You know, how, how was I supposed to know that was going to happen? Uh, he, his internal compass was spinning, and I tried to help, and I just made it all worse. And I know with these nature documentaries, you know, humans aren't supposed to mingle with the animals at all. It's supposed to be raw, unfiltered, just nature at its best. And, and I screwed that up. And you see, when you mess with nature, bugs kill themselves. So don't mess with nature. You're just going to drive a bunch of bugs to suicide. So I'm still working on nature documentaries. I've learned something from this one. Uh, you don't touch bugs because they'll commit suicide. Uh, you don't touch bugs after they've had a seizure. And you don't touch bugs after they've had a traumatic brain injury. Um, I'm just going to play. I kind of I was kind of freaked out at this point. I was trying to find Dimitri, but I think the wind swept him outside like a vacuum. Um, oh, gross. Look at my nasty window. So please ignore that. I'm going to clean it. Um, here comes Barry. He's limping a little bit. I think Dimitri really rocked him hard with that, that left hook. Um, yep, there goes Barry. It's pretty much over at this point. Barry won. Dimitri lost. Um, I was on Team Dimitri until I drove him to suicide. How was I supposed to know that was going to happen? I was just trying to help. I was trying to do something good. I was like, okay, I'm not going to get involved this entire time. And the one time I do, Bug freaking kills himself. Um, I'm still living with the regret. It's hard. Uh, I just want to share this little documentary with you because I worked hard on it. No, I didn't. I'm lying. I just want to share this documentary with you because I thought it was important. I thought it was important for you to see what happens when you touch bugs. Don't touch bugs. Uh, just let bugs do their thing. And bug muggings are real, people. That's all for this video. New videos soon. I I'm working on a big animation project, but it's taken a long time. I've been working on it forever, it feels like. Um, so that's coming, I don't know when, hopefully soon. Uh, more videos. I'm trying to go in a new direction, doing what I'm currently doing and add some new stuff to the channel so I don't get bored and it just keeps it new and fresh. Um, but thank you for watching my little bug documentary. I'm going to pitch it to Netflix tomorrow. Uh, wish me luck.